shooting guard. Five feet, ten inches. Number 24. Judah Lloyd. At the other guard position. At five foot nine inches. Number 10. Sue Bird. Starting at center. Standing six foot two. Number six. Natasha. WNBA on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Minnesota Lynx against the Seattle Storm. Courtside with Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi. I'm Blake Suniga, and we've got a fun one. And one of the most exciting things about the WNBA, the draft is usually three days after the college season ends, and only about a month before opening night. How do you guys like that setup? It's really the best way to do a draft, if you ask me, because you see all of the excitement of Vegas drafting Asia Wilson and then getting to see her play just weeks later. Or how about Seattle getting to see Brianna Stewart in action quickly after winning a title? So I'm just going to say it's a fantastic way to drum up interest. I love it too, Brian. Instead of the months and months of speculation about you know how someone fits in we actually get to see them play it's awesome you keep the momentum going too and best of all we get to see who is for real now here's clark bird outside left side howard just for to shoot that one doesn't drop sylvia fouls with the defensive effort collier with it and it's howard picking her up Johnson, left side, goes up on the block. That one off the of back iron and out. That's the bird. Knocked away. Nafisa Collier on the wing, guarded by Bird. And that one's good, Collier. Oh, the, the high degree of difficulty make from Collier. What an adjustment in body control. It's Jewel Lloyd with the drive. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Storm will get the ball here. Here's Bird. Alicia Clark on the wing. Just five to shoot. For three. Tremendous contest by Collier. Here's a big who generates tons of steals as well. A real defensive menace. Brown. Pass to Dantas. High arcing shot. And it's good on the land. Look at the soft touch. Just a gentle little teardrop. Third outside. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Storm will get the ball here. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Lloyd. Offensively, just one or four to start. They're still warming up. Here's Stewart. The shaky first few minutes. Five attempts with only one make. And the Storm miss again. Johnson outside. Here's Fouls. Stewart grabs the miss. If she can get to the rim, she'll usually turn it into points, but the defense stood tall there. Bird outside. Back to Lloyd. Pass to Howard. Stewart. Shot clock at six. Cans the three! Sometimes you see players get a little bit hesitant to take that outside shot, but not Stewart. She works hard to maintain her range. Now here's Johnson. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. 
Park outside. Pass to Lloyd. Bird covered by Collier. Outside Lloyd. Three pointer. The shot, no good. Now the Lynx take it the other way. I've heard Fowles as coaches and teammates rave about her big heart and charming personality. Always there for her team. Sylvia is a player that lifts the spirits of those around her. Now here's Brown. Fires the three. Here's Fowles. Second chance shot. Can't hit that one. Well, you love the tough D, especially inside. And that's exactly what she gives you, Tim. Constantly making her presence felt around the rim. Another thing about Val's locker room presence, she's someone everybody has trusted. Unselfish and caring. She's the perfect teammate. Doesn't get on teammates for silly things. So when Sylvia speaks, people listen. Stays engaged and gives 110% effort. Coaches love to coach her. They love to see that. Now here is Lloyd. That shot missing. Some solid defense from Demiris Dantas. Takes it out to Collier. Pass to Fouls. Shanice Johnson on the wing. He's off from three. Seattle trailing here. And they've been struggling here offensively. Bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's Lloyd. Uses the glass to finish the layup. An attentive player who sees the floor well. Clark really understands how to distribute the rock. With the teardrop, the putback. Bird pulls it in. Yeah, she's been off her game this quarter. Just hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go down. Pass to Stewart. Clark. Triple. She can't get that one. And here are the links now. Now here's Brown. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Good work defensively by Natasha Howard. Here's Lloyd. Good on the shot. Like a bolt of lightning, Lloyd is a streak down the court. Awesome in transition. Johnson outside. Rebounded by Drew Lloyd. She is going to buy herself a ticket to the bench if she keeps shooting like she has this quarter so far. They get the rebound. Stewart misses. Minnesota trailing. Pass to Johnson. Back to Brown. Collier outside. Johnson outside. It's rebounded by Seattle. A little in the hoop for her this quarter. She still hasn't gotten one, not one, to fall. Brown with it. Takes it out to Collier. Pass to Johnson. Back to Collier. And the Lynx miss again. And here is Bird. Back to Stewart. The basket good right off right the right assist from Sue Bird. Stewart makes it look easy, but trust me, it is not easy. She's fearless around the rim. Time called here. The Lynx decide to talk it over. The yeah, coaches, they saw their team giving up a lot of points and wanted uh, to get a break before it got out of hand. And that's a big part of a coach's job, making sure you keep your players in the best position possible at all times. That's a great timeout.
links now. They trail by three. Well, the unselfishness of the Storm is pretty easy to see because they're always looking to make the extra pass and get the best look the team can get. And I would say it also helps that they have so many great options on the team. She's definitely got that shot in her arsenal. Here's Seattle. Pass to Howard. Tuck. Let's loose for three. And it's Alexander with the rebound. Surprising miss, wouldn't you say? I mean, she usually devours those wide open opportunities. Here's Faust. The shot is good. It's her second bucket in five tries. Never one to shy away from contact. What concentration from Fouls to get the bucket. Here's Canada. And it's Alexander with the rebound. Well, good defense in the paint. Worth its weight in gold. It absolutely is. And we just saw it right there, didn't we? Without her presence, that's an easy two points. With one on the clock. That's the end of the first quarter and not much scoring. It remains close. Links ahead, leading by a point. Old sight, we've got more basketball action headed your way. It's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter going. And from what we've seen from the Lynx, what's your take so far? A lot of tough D by them so far. It's been a difference maker. Nothing has gone up uncontested for the most part. And look, that's why they've had success. The Lynx with the lead. Pass to fouls. Here's Bannum. Clock at four. Can't get the three to fall. Here's Tuck. And a great assist by Jordan Canada. And that one falls in. Fantastic pass. He made that a very easy bucket with the setup. Here's Bannum. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. Let's the three fly. It's rebounded by Tuck. Pass to Whitcomb. Canada up top. Christmas Kelly covering. A minute and a half gone in the second quarter. Count that one. Well, on the defensive side, one thing you cannot do, let Fowles get the ball near the hoop. When she does, she's difficult to stop. Langhorn with the ball. Now Foles defending. Fires the three. Whitcomb misses. So the Lynx now. They've only given up two points this quarter. Poked away. to Alexander. This one for three. Rachel Bannum, and that's good. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass up. Now Langhorn. Now Canada. Here's the floater. Denied for the third time. She's 0 for 3. Guarded by Canada. Pass to Alexander. Bannum. 16 feet out. They grab their own miss. Oh, and the fast break for the storm. Whitcomb, that's good. They work together so well on that break. Christmas Kelly outside. Pass to Bannum. Takes the three. Unable to get that one to go. And the Storm going the other way now. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter play.
outside Canada. Over Brown. And Sylvia Fowles with the swat. What a rejection from Fowles. Her timing and toughness uh, really cement her as one of the league's best defenders. Well, the WNBA recently made changes to not just their postseason format, but their regular season format as well. Do you guys like these changes? Well, I think it's good for the league, Blake. You know, I like how teams now play 18 games against their opposing conference instead of 12. Now, that allows fans to see more of those cross-conference matchups that they may have been craving. Also, it can help some rivalries develop, which to me is always fun. Yeah, and as far as in-conference, teams used to play five games against two teams and four games against the remaining three teams. Now in this new format, teams play four games against one team and three games against the remaining four teams. More balance. And she's good on the second. Seattle trailing here. Pass to Stewart. Langhorn. Outside Canada. Just five on the clock. Karina Christmas Kelly with the block. It's so hard to believe that we're at this point in the game and she still hasn't registered a single point. Stewart doesn't go for her. Sylvia fouls with the defensive effort. Inside, Alexander. And it's gonna be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. It's on Mercedes Russell. You don't want to get in the habit of letting the offense get right to the rim. And that's the message they were sending with that foul, saying nothing easy inside with that one. Yeah, but they got to play a little bit better defense before they get inside. First free throw is good. She hits both shots. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. It sure seems like it. Uh, they've spent a lot of time at the stripe this quarter. Now here's Russell. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Collier outside. Pass to Brown. Johnson outside. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jordan Canada. That'll be her second foul of the game. Shanice Johnson on the wing. Launches a three. She's off on that one. And the storm going the other way now. Here's Prince. Good. And Brianna Stewart gets the assist. Great job to find the open teammate. Stewie has very solid vision. Collier outside. Down low. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Yeah, anytime the shot comes from that range, the offense has done its job. Right side, Canada. And Damaris Dantas with the block. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Storm will get the ball here. Clark outside, five on the clock. Here's Lloyd. And it's Collier with the rebound. Well, if this ball game comes down to the rebounding battle, they'll be the ones coming out on top. They've had a strong game on that front without question. Now here is Lloyd. She has six. Clark with it. Now guarded by Collier. To the paint. Stewart. Here's Howard. Now Fisa Collier with the block. Not today. Collier a very good shot blocker. Really good with her timing. Brown. Pass to Dantas. 
Fades and shoots, and it's blocked by Brianna Stewart. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. You love her, her presence on this team as a scorer. It has a calming effect for them. She's a fallback option whenever they need one. Now here's Brown. Here's Johnson. Makes that one after missing her first six shot attempts. One for seven and hungry for more. To the inside. Kayla Alexander with the block. Here's Collier. Well, teams are always looking for players that can make an immediate impact. And Nafisa Collier sure fits that mold. She earned All-Star honors in just her first WNBA season as she replaced the injured Asia Wilson. down the first one. Taken sixth overall by Minnesota in 2019, Nafisa Collier made an immediate impact in the WNBA. A real Polish player who's going to be a good one for years to come. And so she hits both. Here's Seattle. Seven point differential. Side Lloyd, looking to get it going, and Damaris Dantas with the block, and a basket by Lloyd. And here are the links now. Pass to Alexander. Back to Brown. Six on the shot clock. Storm with the rebound. Tough D on the inside. Sure was. No easy access to the bucket when she's in the middle. Double team on Jewel Lloyd. They're tussling for it, and it looks like a jump ball. And it's the Storm with the ball. Here's Prince. To Stewart. Shot from the top of the key. Some solid defense from Damiris Dantas. The Lynx leading. And here's Brown. And Brianna Stewart with the block. She doesn't just score. Stewart uses that 7 1 wingspan on D2. That's the type of lead pass we've really come to expect from her. Minnesota calls a timeout. And you know, every step of the way, the expectations have been huge for Brianna Stewart. The top recruit in the country at a high school, then the top pick in the 2016 WCAA draft. The world was expected of Stewart. <laughs> now three-point lead and while maybe some might feel the pressure Brianna Stewart has exceeded expectations it kind of reminds me of LeBron James you know from a young age growing up in Syracuse Stewart was anointed the next big thing in hoops but her low-key personality paired with her tireless work ethic have helped her more than fulfill the hype now here's Brown pass to Collier to the middle. Here's Alexander. Good D by Natasha Howard. Seattle with the ball. 
They trail by three. In the basket by Lloyd. Those defenders look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're just getting pushed around on the low block. Maybe coach has got to make a substitution or something to energize this team. Well, they better rally soon. They've given up three straight buckets in the paint. A real defensive lapse there. She's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. They're lucky she didn't punish him there. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. It's the storm. Up one. And we will be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. here. Boyd is getting it done today. The way she attacked the rim in the first half is absolutely remarkable. The defenders need to start building walls inside, doing whatever they can to stop her from getting to the rim. Easier said than done when she's the penetrator. Look, her speed and agility make her an extremely tough cover. Been a back and forth game with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter getting started here. Now here's Collier. And there's the foul. It'll go on Clark. That is her first foul of the game. Here's Brown. It's a one point game. Down low. Six to shoot. Tasha Howard gets a hand on it. Second in the league in blocks in 2018. Howard has long arms, great leaping ability. The recipe for a shot blocker. Clark outside. Pass to Bird. Inside. Stewart. And she drops in the layup off glass. And they're really keeping that ball hopping around. Yeah, hip-hopping around, if you ask me. Look, their last five trips have all ended with a great pass leading to a hoop. They are really sharing the basketball. Now here's Fowles. She's got six. Johnson can't get it to go. Pass to Bird. Now here's Lloyd. Covered by Fowles. Bird outside. Back to Stewart. The basket good off the assist from Sue Bird. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Every pass is with purpose, and their last 10 points have come off of assists. Great team basketball on display right now. Now here's Fowles. Back to Johnson. Shoots over Bird. Johnson can't get it to go. Boy, the complexion of this game would be a whole lot different if she had shot the ball anything like she's capable of. They're passing the ball very crisply right now. Their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. Now here's Collier. Eight points for her. Ugly start to the second half. This is their first four. They need to get on track. And stolen by Collier. Here's Brown. They get it back. Cashes in on the second chance points. 
That's what I love about Fowles. Her high motor keeps her constantly fighting for the ball, and she truly earned that second chance basket. Shot's good by Clark. Wow. I mean, come on. That's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, it's just nowhere to be found. They have to start committing more bodies down low. Now here's Johnson. And there's a whistle. It's going to be on Stewart. That is the first foul of the game. So both teams changing it up here. Dantas outside. Pass to Bantam. Shot clock at five. Now fouls. The fader makes the bucket. She's now got five field goals. Five for eight on the game. Not known for her ability outside. Fouls can knock down a shot every now and then. Helps keep the D honest. A shot by Canada. No good. Can't connect there, but still a red-hot start to the half. Hitting four of their first five. That's a heads-up play right there, guys. Not just on the assist, but also on the finish. Seattle in the lead. And Suber gets double teamed. Stewart, she's guarded by Dantas. Bird gets the bucket. Everyone seems to be sleepwalking out on defense, and it's been that way ever since I came out of the half. Now Christmas Kelly. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. You know, typically she has the touch to finish when she's in that tight. Not sure what happened there. Now here's Howard. And Christmas Kelly pulls it down. Excellent interior D uh, right there to force the miss. Yeah, and unlike you, Tim, her defensive ability is a huge factor. No doubt about it. Here's Clark. Pass to Bird. Five to shoot. Stewart. That's in. And she's 7 of 12 now for the game. Getting easy buckets for teammates. That's what Sue Bird does. And she's been doing it for a long time. The Lynx trailing. Here's Bantam. Christmas Kelly outside. Here's Fowles. Soft touch off the glass. Those two points, almost a sure thing when they're able to get the ball inside to that position. Time what an impressive out. career Fowles has had. Multiple championships, finals, MVPs, and all-star now. And she's done it with a strong presence in the paint. Scoring, shot blocking, you name it, inside she's done it. Seattle calls timeout. And with Fowles, she's not only an icon in the league, she's a terrific teammate as well. Yeah, she's more than willing to act as a mentor for others because people see her success and want to emulate it. So team Sylvia is nothing short of a class act as she brings the intensity of both ends, night in and night out. Russell. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Outside Whitcomb. Clock at six. Langhorn. Covered by Collier. I'll bet you haven't seen too many rebounding efforts like this. It, it takes an extraordinary combination of talent and desire to put in the kind of performance she has today. Pass to Bantam. Here's Fowles. Guarded by Canada. Here's Bantam. Over to the left wing for the tie. That shot off the mark. Now Seattle takes it the other way. Whitcomb with it. Outside Canada. Russell to the inside. 
Whitcomb, that's good. That pass led her so perfectly, she didn't even have to break stride. Pass to Collier. And Brianna Stewart with the block. Here's Canada. No good that time. Great D that time from Karima Christmas Kelly. Bantam. Collier outside. Here's Fouls. It's a deflection. Pass to Whitcomb. Outside Canada. Russell to the paint. Whitcomb. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. And she'll shoot one more at the line. Well, you don't see many WNBA players throw it down. But of the ones that have dunked, which is your favorite? This one's easy, Blake. Brittany Reiner. She's the only player in WNBA history to have double-digit dunks. So that kind of does it for me. Well, Tim, I rarely, and let me emphasize, rarely, I uh, agree with you, but this time I do. Reiner is simply the best dunker the WNBA has ever seen. They really want to find that igniter here. That's right, their offense is ground to a standstill. Maybe you need to suit up, Tim. They need a spark. And that'll be Minnesota's ball as it goes out of bounds. Link's able to keep the ball here. Puts it up off the inbound. And there's the play by Christmas Kelly inside. Just think about the hoop. Just look and shoot. Christmas Kelly did that. Not at all disrupted by the contact. Outside, Stewart. And the foul called on Collier. That's her first foul. Both teams deciding to change it up. Outside Canada. Langhorn down to five on the shot clock. Warren Canada drives in. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. It certainly wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap. Christmas Kelly's shot is off. Some great tight defense right there. Got right up on her and forced the miss. Just close enough to bother her on the shot, but disciplined enough to avoid too much contact. Here's Prince. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Pass to Bantam. Here's Alexander. Whitcomb defending. Fouls with it. Bantam. Back to fouls. From 18 feet away. He can't hit that time. Didn't see that miss coming. She's usually so good from that range. Whitcomb. That's good. This defense is getting eaten up on the inside, guys. Giving up far too many free runs to the rim. And they haven't been able to return the favor. Their offense in the paint hasn't been up to par. To the inside. Stolen by Russell. Canada, pass to Prince. Ah, no good on the last second attempt there. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. It's the Storm, leading by 10. And do not go away, as we'll be back in just a few moments for our fourth quarter of basketball coming up next. Just about to get started here. One slice at the and it's the Storm with the ball. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest lead. Pass to Howard. Back to Canada. Oh, hammer! Wow! Oh, she'll the line. At the line for your Seattle Storm. Jordan Canada. At the line for two. Two shots. 
and the first one falls for her. And good on both. Now the Lynx with it. A 12-point game. Johnson inside. Whitcomb defending. Johnson can't get it to go. On the wing, Sammy Whitcomb. Back to Lloyd. Canada. Outside Whitcomb. Six to shoot. Outside Lloyd. Double team on Jewel Lloyd. Howard. That falls. A nice feed that time from Jewel Lloyd. He didn't think twice about that shot. Howard has much more confidence in her jumper. It's great to see her play to her potential. Now here's Johnson. It's Karima Christmas Kelly on the wing. Here's Fouls. That shot off. Good D by Natasha Howard. And it's blocked by Sylvia Fowles. And it's out of bounds to the Storm as Seattle retains possession. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Pass to Howard. Clark. Four on the clock. Bird outside. Goes up from the top of the key. And it's blocked by Sylvia Fowler. Brown inside. Guarded by Bird. Now Christmas Kelly. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Natasha Howard. That is her first foul of the game. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. And here's Brown. Just five on the clock. Back to fouls. Shoots over Bird. And she drains the turnaround Jay. Well, it's a good thing she showed up today because without her, they'd be in deeper trouble. Pass the Longhorn. Sinks that one from the post. And it's pretty hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. Yeah, I mean, when you look at the stats monitor, there's a stark discrepancy. When you look at the assist column, and you see that difference as far as fluidity in their respective offenses, too. Christmas Kelly with it. From deep. Offensive rebound. Dantas' shot is off. And these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assists. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively, too. They continue to get it inside. The defense struggling to just contain them. And look, when you make five in a row from in tight like they have, it also just takes pressure off of your perimeter, guys. Great point. Here's Brown. And so she earns a trip to the line. Official saw the contact, and she'll shoot two. Substitutions. And she makes both free throws. And confident play we're seeing out of them. Yeah, the scoreboard tells the story. Alicia Clark on the wing. Off target from three-point range. She may have been surprised to find herself so open. I mean, maybe that's why she missed. Here's Brown. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots next. Brianna Stewart picks one up. 
throw missing. And the second free throw, good. Here's Bird. Stewart. And so she draws the foul on the shot. Uh, tricks to the line to shoot two. Strong play drawing contact. At 6-4, it's very hard to stop Stewart without fouling her when she gets inside. And she makes the first. When you think of Brianna Stewart, you think winner. She won four college championships, has an Olympic gold medal, and a WNBA title. Doesn't get the second. Now the Lynx with it. Johnson inside, covered by Lloyd. Back to Collier. That's a basket. It's her eighth from the field. Eight for 14 on the night. She's knocking down her shots today, but it unfortunately hasn't really translated to the scoreboard. Pass to Stewart. Clark. Good. And Brianna Stewart gets the assist. Offensively, the field goal percentage is creeping up towards that 50% mark, which is a nice change from the first half, wouldn't you say, Tim? Absolutely, and with their offense, the clicking and the score in their favor, they hold momentum right now. That one goes in. Now Bird. Time called here. Time the Storm decide to talk it over. They could tell their players were dragging a bit and called timeout to let them catch their breath. Terrific efficiency scoring the ball, and credit the game planning. She's gotten it where she wants it. The timing has been there. Love what she brings to this team. She's given this crowd a treat tonight, and they're enjoying every second of it. And, you know, performances like this are how you cement yourself as a fan favorite. Down low, Lloyd. And she finishes nicely on the layup. She's been one of their more reliable options today, and it's her shooting that has given them this lead. Pass to Collier. Now Dantas. Inside, fouls. And she takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. In the zone right now. Fouls' his composure when scoring well uh, allows her to just consistently just keep piling them on. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. At the line for both Seattle score, Jewel Lloyd. At the line for two. The first free throw is good. They're working hard to get inside and draw contact a little more than they did in the first half, Tim. You know, and defensively, if you're trying to battle back, you can't keep sending them to the line. So she gets them both. Really arriving on the international stage, Lloyd was part of the 2018 national team, helping the team win the world championships in Spain. Now here's Dantas. Fouls guarded by Howard. 
to the left wing. Five to shoot. Here's Bannum. That three off target had some space there after the little pump tape. Howard, that's good. A career 50% shooter. Howard loves the inside looks. To the middle. Stolen by Natasha Howard. Here's Floyd. And it's rebounded by Sylvia Fowles. Now here's Brown. Guarded by Bird. Collier outside. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. It'll go to the storm. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a very nice job of extending their lead. And the basket by Lloyd. The body control on her is tremendous. Lloyd is not easily taken off her game. Impressive make. Back to Brown. They get a hand on it. Shot clock at six. Here's Bird. Outside Stewart. Nice D from Nafisa Collier. Well, got it in close, but credit the tight defense for forcing the miss. Defense like that ups the degree of difficulty on that shot by about what? Uh, I'd say 300%? 308% maybe. Okay, I like that. And they're making this a runaway. Yeah, the only question here for us to follow is how big uh, the lead will eventually become. Clark can't hit. And the Lynx pushing it up now. Shot to end the cold run. And she'll shoot free throws. Clearly fouled on the shot that time. The whistle blows. Personal foul. Shooting the Lynx. Lexi Brown. At the line for two. good on that one. Good on the second free throw. Not as productive of a trip to the line as she'd have liked. They really need all their free throws to go down at this point. Outside Howard. Lloyd. Bird outside. Pass to Stewart. Shoots over Dantas. And Stewart gets it to go. The mid-range jumper, something I love to see. Stewart's game is multifaceted, and I'm really not surprised to see her knock that one down. Now here's Dantas. Fouls, covered by fouls. Bird outside, pass to Stewart. Excellent D there from Sylvia Fowles. The drive by Nafisa Collier. She scores her sixth bucket from the floor with that one, and she shot the ball 11 times. An all-around offensive talent. But what a player Collier is with the handles to put it on the deck. Now here is Lloyd. Stewart with the bucket. Man, her defender straight into that screen to open up the lane to the hoop. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. To the right side. Pass to Dantas. Fouls with it, guarded by Howard. Shots good by Fouls. It looked pretty, but she doesn't need to use the fadeaway when she's that open. And so Seattle takes this one by a big margin. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you just have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Another fans appreciated it. We saw the excellent defense, a potent offensive effort, and they were pretty much dominant.
So that's going to do it for this one, folks.